Will Lewis Hamilton win his fifth world title this weekend? Is there anything Ferrari can do to stop this from happening? And can Red Bull get into that fight for the win? Find out in this video. Not only is F1 back in North America, but also the United States, and more specifically, Austin, Texas, for the 2018 US Grand Prix. And here are some stats about the Circuit of Americas. It's a 5.5 km track and the race will be ran over 56 laps. The first Grand Prix was only back in 2012, where in that race Lewis Hamilton won from Sebastian Vettel. And the lap record is a 137.7 set by Sebastian Vettel in 2017. And of course if it stays dry that record is going to be smashed to bits. Now last year at the US Grand Prix it was Mercedes and Lewis Hamilton taking the win. All weekend Hamilton was just way too good. Kind of like how he's been now for the last few races unbeatable. And I would not put it past him to be like that again. But last year we did have a great battle for second place. Between Sebastian Vettel, Valtteri Bottas, Kimi Raikkonen and Daniel Ricciardo and Max Verstappen. There was plenty of overtakes and of course controversy. Hopefully we won't see the same controversy about track limits this weekend. Because last year it did ruin the Grand Prix. But now guys let's preview how the top teams are going to do this weekend in Austin. This weekend could be another special weekend in Lewis Hamilton's career. The possibility of winning his 5th World Championship. A monumental achievement. But what are his chances of doing that this weekend? For me they are very very good. To win the title Hamilton has to outscore Vettel by 9 points. And with his very fast Mercedes car that is very very possible. Because with the way Ferrari and Sebastian Vettel are performing I don't see them finishing in the top 2. Ferrari right now are just not producing results. So as long as Lewis does what he needs to do I don't see why he can't win the title. For me there's a very strong chance of it happening here. And to be honest it really should. But someone who is going to be key in winning Hamilton the title this weekend is Valtteri Bottas. He has to be in between his teammate and Sebastian Vettel. So Lewis can gain enough points to go on and win the title. Even though I don't like to see it, I think Valtteri has to play that number 2 role and try to hold back Vettel as much as he can. But honestly, given how quick his car is, I don't think he'll have to do that very much. The Mercedes car right now is clearly the best on the grid. And for the fourth weekend in a row, they are the team to beat. Things have just been going from bad to worse for Ferrari. Suzuka was such an embarrassment. For what is such a famous and great team. But this story of course has played out over the course of 2018. And with the way things are going I would not be surprised if Ferrari bottled it again. They do it race after race after race after race. What makes any of us think they're not going to do it again? Even though I think this weekend they will be closer to Mercedes than they were in Suzuka. I don't trust them to actually fulfil that pace. And that's why this weekend I see them being thoroughly beaten by Mercedes. With Vettel losing out on his 5th World Championship. Suzuka for Red Bull went a lot better than people expected. I thought they'd be good but not that good. Where they got quite a dominant 3rd and 4th place finish over Ferrari. But can Red Bull keep it up? In qualifying at least I don't think they'll be able to. For reasons I've explained a million times in 2018. They don't have enough power in qualifying. But I certainly do think they'll have the race pace to go for a podium. Just look at how quick Red Bull were last year. Despite Max Verstappen getting his penalty I think he did deserve a podium. And remember last year he started from the back. And Daniel Ricciardo before his reliability issue was very competitive. And with how good their race pace has been lately, I think they're going to have a very good Grand Prix. I would not be surprised at all if they got a podium. And if they get lucky, maybe even more than that. Certainly watch out for Red Bull on race day. Both drivers, I'm sure, will be very aggressive. Now though, let's look at the driver's standings. Lewis Hamilton leads massively over Sebastian Vettel with Valtteri Bottas in third. Kimi Raikkonen is falling behind in 4th with Max Verstappen catching in 5th and Daniel Ricciardo in 6th. I do think Lewis will win the title this weekend. 
just like he did back in 2015. Hopefully Vettel though this weekend can do something to race Hamilton, as Ferrari have to get back on track. Now though let's take a look at the midfield, and how they are going to do in Texas. The last couple of races for McLaren have been quite frankly miserable, ending up at almost the back of the grid. Now it's not a massive surprise because this team has been so astonishingly bad this season, but I just can't believe McLaren is still in this kind of situation. Now this weekend I think McLaren will be better than they were in Russia and Suzuka. I think Kota does suit them slightly more, but there are still areas of this track that are going to be so painfully slow. For example the first sector, the massively long back straight, and the faster corners in the final sector. But when I say I think they'll be slightly better, I still don't think they're going to score any points. Realistically, the best they can hope for is 13th or 14th. They are miles off the front of the midfield. Not even a track like Monaco right now would put them at the front of that midfield battle. So if you are a McLaren fan, get ready for another poor weekend. Renault this weekend are on enemy turf with of course this race being their big rival's Haas's home race, and it's where Renault desperately need a good away result. But can they get it? Now I think this track does suit their car better than say Suzuka, so they may be able to compete inside the top 10. But can they compete with say Haas and Force India? Probably not. I don't see them outpacing those two teams for the rest of 2018. Their all-around car Renault is just a bit too far behind. And because Haas do have the faster car and they're going to be so pumped up for their home Grand Prix, Renault have to get some kind of points even if they don't beat Haas. Because any point or two here could be very important once we get to the final race. Renault they will have to battle like crazy for that point. After a good result in Suzuka Force India come here on a high. And really rightfully so. Ever since the summer break they've been very fast and have got some good results. And this weekend I don't see that changing. Last season they were right at the front of the midfield. And right now you'd have to say they're kind of replicating how they were 12 months ago. So I would not be shocked if they were the best of the rest. Their main challenge is of course they were going to be harsh. I think though Force India will hold them off though because again Force India do have a good record at Kota. And after this weekend, Force India should be a lot closer to McLaren in the Constructors, and maybe overtaking them. Williams are now just four races away from this disastrous 2018 season coming to a close, and I think Williams can't wait for it. I think the team knew that chances of points after Italy was going to be very scarce, and it would be a miracle if they scored points here. Despite not scoring points, Toro Rosso's last race was quite successful, as they showcased Honda's latest improvements, with their all new Spec 3 power unit, and in my opinion it definitely worked as they qualified in P6 and P7, but how will it do here? Well it should do better than the Renault powered cars down the back straight, but is the car good enough in the corners I'm not too sure. They're certainly not going to be as quick as say Haas and Force India, and they're kind of in there with Sauber and Renault in the battle from say P11 to P15. Now I think in qualifying Toro Rosso will probably not do that well, say like 13th and 16th, but I think they will have the race pace to go for some points. Probably not finishing the points but at least go for it, as they are trying to hold off Sauber for 8th in the Constructors, and then beating Sauber for this weekend is important, in what is going to be a mega close battle in the midfield. It is home sweet home for Haas F1. They are back for the United States Grand Prix, where they are sincerely hoping to put a show on for their fans, who I'm sure are going to be supporting them, in what is still a titanic battle for fourth in the constructors. Now Haas for me will definitely be in the top 10. One because their car is definitely fast enough, but also because they're going to be so motivated. Motivated to do well in America and motivated to get points. Hopefully their two drivers though do not get carried away and throw away points, like Grosjean and K-Mag have done at times in 2018. Both of them need to be at it this weekend, in what is a humongous race for Haas. For 
For Sauber, their last race in Suzuka promised so much, but ultimately delivered nothing. Can they make up for that this weekend? Maybe they can, but maybe they won't. Because as I said with Toro Rosso, the midfield battle is so close. There is nothing really to choose between the teams. It's coming down to mere hundreds of a second. The drivers are going to have to make all the difference. And that of course means Charles Leclerc has to be at his best. Something he has done for the majority of 2018. This is of course though for Charles a newer circuit to learn. But if he does get up to grips he really should be right in that battle. And right in there fighting away for those last points. Points that also Sauber desperately need. And hopefully they do get some. Let's look now though at the constructor standings. Mercedes lead from Ferrari in second and Red Bull in third. Mercedes are also about to win the constructors. And with the way 2018 has gone they do deserve it. Renault are just about hanging on for fourth from Haas in fifth, McLaren sixth and fourth Singer in P7. And then you have Toro Rosso eighth, Sauber ninth and Williams in tenth. Toro Rosso and Sauber are now very close. But guys this is the content schedule for this race weekend. Live at 10pm on Friday night will be a practice review for the Grand Prix. And then at 9pm on Saturday night will be the qualifying watch along. And then at 2am on Sunday morning will be the qualifying review. If you didn't know guys I'm now doing qualifying and race reviews live. Then I'll be going live at 10 past 6 on Sunday night for the race watch along. And at 9.30pm for the race reaction. With a live race review at 4pm on Monday afternoon. Hopefully all you guys come along and interact as always. It would be a massive pleasure to have you along. But this weekend pretty much is all about Lewis Hamilton. As he's very close to his 5th world title. Will he claim it this weekend? Or will he be made to wait? We will find out this weekend. But anyway guys that's has been it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. As well guys don't forget to join my discord server. Link below in the description also with my twitter and my website. Comment down below what you thought of this video and comment down below what do you think will happen this weekend at the 2018 United States Grand Prix. Please comment down below what you think about those topics and until next time it's been me Chazzer HD, goodbye.